Hi, and welcome to Two for Tuesday, the guitar is tuned standard, E, A, D, G, B, E. We're going to learn two songs today, the first one being Unconditionally. The second one is going to be Roar, and both are very easy to play. For Unconditionally, we won't be using a capo, but for Roar, we'll use a capo at the third fret. Okay? All right, let's get started with Unconditionally. Our first chord is E minor. Second chord is C. Third chord, G. Those are the only three chords we're going to need. And it's going to go something like this. Our strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down. Real easy. All right. That's song one. And that was unconditionally. That's all it's going to take to play that song. Now, let's add a capo at the third fret. And we'll do Roar. Roar is going to start with G, A minor, E minor, and C. And then back to G. All right. In order to play Roar, we're going to have to learn to change the chords on the three beat. In other words, we're going to go to the G chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And back like that. Okay, okay. so it's one. This is what it's going to sound like. Now, if we want a more continuous strumming pattern, we're going to play this. first one, when I went to A minor, I just rested on A minor and rested on C. Okay. Second time around, we played A minor for two strums and then went to E minor and then when we played C, we played it for two strums. Like that. So we went like this. That was both songs, Unconditionally and Roar, by Katy Perry. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.